Hello, everyone, and welcome to Live with the Pricing Lady. I'm Janine Liston, your hostess. This show is all about helping you do better with pricing in your business. I work with small business owners to help them charge confidently for the value they deliver so they can build sustainably profitable businesses, helping people like you turn their passion into profits. Welcome, everyone. First, let me say I did record this earlier, so you're not having a moment of deja vu. However, when I went back and looked at the video, there was a serious delay between the video and the audio. So I thought I would hop back on right away and make sure that you get a nice clean version of this episode so that it doesn't make it harder for you to hear and see what's going on. All right. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about what I call pin the tail on the donkey pricing. What? You might be thinking, what the heck is that? Well, it's kind of something I made up, if you will. It's exactly what you don't want to be doing in your business. So let's take a look at three things. What is this pin the tail on the donkey pricing? Second of all, what are the signs of it? Third of all, what can you do to avoid it or if you're in it to get out of it? So first of all, let's talk about what this is. Now, pin the tail on the donkey is a game that we played very often at children's birthday parties when I was a young girl. <laughs> and the concept, if you're not familiar with it, is they put a big poster of a donkey, a tailless donkey, on the wall. And then they blindfold a child, give them a tail, right? And they spin the child in circles and then kind of point them in a direction and expect them with the blindfold on to walk over to the wall and pin the tail on the donkey. And the winner is the one who gets their tail closest to where the tail should be on the donkey. So in other words, to play this game, you are blindfolded, dizzy, and often walking around pointed in the wrong direction. So you can see why having pin the tail on the donkey pricing in your business is not going to be the way that you want to go. Now, as a child, this game was fun and everybody had a good time, except for those who have problems with dizziness, <laughs> like me. <laughs> but in the context of pricing in your business, it's going to be a little bit different. And here's the thing. So when you're doing pricing well in your business, it's like having a map to get to a location. It tells you when to do certain things, how to do certain things, what not to do. And these are exactly the things that you want to know. Because as you know from listening to me from time to time, pricing is a way of being in your business. And when you set things up correctly when it comes to pricing, it makes it easier for you to actually integrate pricing into your business. So what we want for you is not to be blindfolded, not to be dizzy, and not to be headed in the wrong direction. We want you to have a clear plan forward of what you're going to do. Let's take a look now at what are the signs that you might be playing the game or suffering from pin the tail on the donkey pricing. First of all, number one, you don't know or you feel that you don't really know what you're doing when it comes to setting your prices. So maybe you've read a few posts here and there about what you should and shouldn't be doing or somebody gave you some advice that you've taken, no, you should do this or you should do that. Well, here's the thing, when it comes to setting pricing, there is not one clean way to do it all the time. What is important is that you have a thought process that you go to, you go through, sorry, and each time you do it, you may emphasize different aspects of that process, but you have a clear process to go through and that is going to help you. So if you don't know, or if you feel uncertain about how to do it, chances are you are suffering from this disease called <laughs> pin the tail on the donkey pricing and we wanna eradicate or make that better for you, right? Second way or sign that you're playing this game, if you will, is that, you doubt or you're not really sure if your prices are right. Maybe you don't even know or feel confident that your prices are right. And this is to me a clear sign that you're you're stuck in this cycle because if you don't feel confident about your prices, then you're doing something wrong. It doesn't mean you'll always feel 100% sure about everything, but if you have set your prices based on the things that matter to your customers, to your business, to you, then 
you will know why your price is what it is. And you'll feel more confident speaking about it. You'll feel confident to answer the questions about it. And you'll feel confident even when people object to what you're doing. So the idea isn't that you just say, oh, forget all of you. I know my price should be this. But the idea is you know why it is what it is. And when you decide to change the price, you're doing it for the right reasons, not for the wrong reasons. So again, that is another sign that you're un if you're unsure that your prices are right, then you're probably hanging around in the zone of pin the tail and the donkey pricing. The last sign is that you aren't actually monitoring your prices. Now, some people will find this quite surprising because it never occurred to them to actually look at their prices every year which to me is the surprising part. How could you not? But I know for a lot of people, it never occurs to them to do that. So if you're not actually looking at your prices regularly to see what's really going on, then you are operating blindly. Here's the thing, and it doesn't matter if you're a big business or a small businesses. Most businesses will set a price and then throughout the year do different things that adjust that price. And let me say, when you adjust, usually it's downwards, which means that if you thought you were selling for 100, at the end of the year, chances are you're selling for something on average below that. And you might not even realize it. But that might be the reason that you're not earning the profit that you expected in your business. So you'd want to pay attention to that, right? That's what I mean by monitoring your prices. You also need to understand what are those price drivers, those things that might affect your price and give you a signal that it needs to change. I worked for a company uh, back in the early days of my career, and a lot of uh, what we did in our industry was governed by two very large uh, governing bodies. They were electrical engineering um, related Sorry, I can't think of the word of what to call it. They were, they regulated the electrical engineering industry. That's how I want to say that. And quite often, you know, they would make a change in the regulations, which meant we had to change what we offered clients. And in some cases, that meant we also adjusted our prices accordingly. So there are different things that can affect your pricing beyond things like customer and cost inflation, for example, but you need to identify what those are so that you can monitor those things. One, it'll help you understand when to make changes and two, it'll help you know which changes to make, right? So this is what I mean by if you aren't actually monitoring your prices, then you're operating blindfolded because you don't have all that good information to be able to know what to do next with your prices. So we looked at what it is and what the signs are. Let's have a look at what you can do in order to improve things if you think you might be suffering from pin the tail on the donkey pricing. <laughs> so the first thing you can do is to make sure you know how to set your prices. Yes, you need to base your prices on a solid foundation. Good information, at least the best information you can have, and a solid thought process. So that is number one to do. Number two to do is to be sure to prepare yourself. I can't say this enough. When you're prepared for discussions around pricing or when you're prepared with the right information to set your prices, it's going to be one easier for, to, for you. And two, it's not, it means that you won't have to think so hard. You know, our goal when it comes to pricing in your business is for it to be a way of being in your business. And the preparation now will help make that possible in the nearer future. Let's put it that way. The last to do on the list here is to know what's changing, which is a little bit related to what I said in the signs, but again, you have got to know what is changing and shifting and moving in your business. Too often, <coughs> excuse me, people come to me two or three years down the road after, so let's say their revenue and profit peaked two or three years ago, they've waited and come to me a few years late. And it's still possible to recover from that. It just gets harder the longer your wait. So if you know what's going on in your business, you know it's changing and moving and shifting, then you're going to know better what to do when those things happen or come your way.
That's what I wanted to share with you today. We talked about pin the tail on the donkey pricing. No, I can't say that that is a technical term, but that is how it appears and how it feels when you're not really sure what you're doing with your pricing. And we want to make sure that you can step out of that and get to a place where you're feeling confident about how you're setting up prices, how you're communicating so that you can charge for the value you deliver with the ultimate confidence. That's all for today, ladies and gentlemen. If you have questions at any time about pricing or would like to talk to me about pricing in your business, you can head on over to janineliston.com backslash discovery call. With just a 20 minute, 30 minute call, we can take a look at what's going on and I'll let you know how I can help you best with pricing in your business. That's all folks. Have a great week. And as always, enjoy pricing everyone.